Hello there. Well, for this video I'm doing something a little different than just the usual stuff like say a vlog or, or whatever else uh, kind of videos I've done so far. So yeah, this, this video will be something a little different from the usual stuff. Yeah, this is essentially my pick of the top 10 YouTube photography channels that I watch. So, but they're not actually going to be strictly in any kind of order. So I'm not really going to say this is at 10, this is at number one. So yeah, it's basically pretty much a, a kind of general list of the channels that I usually watch on a kind of general basis, on a on a usual basis, and they're ones, you know, obviously enjoy for the content. And, uh, you know, obviously because they're always quite different in terms of what each channel offers and which each person uh, deals with, you know, so, because they all deal with different aspects and different areas of photography, so yeah, uh, they, they've all got something to offer. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and let's look at these channels. Okay, so the first one I've got on my list is uh, it's Fiorio Apophysis. And now you may know this guy also as the Angry Photographer, because I think that's what he used to call his, his uh, channel. But now, of course, the guy's actual real name is Ken Wheeler. And you, you'll, you know him if you saw him. If you know uh, your photography stuff on YouTube, you will <laughs> definitely have seen this guy's videos. And uh, they're actually quite funny. They're, they're quite informative. and But they're also, you know, quite cutting. You know, the guy he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't uh, pull any punches, this guy really will speak his mind and if there's something he thinks is suspicious or off in the photography world he will uh, be very sure to, uh, to spot it out and he will give anyone a right roasting if he feels that they deserve it for whatever reason. Yeah, his channel is both funny and informative. At times it can be probably a little offensive towards uh, certain people but you know, <laughs> but, you know there's, there's no doubt in it. Ken Wheeler's, uh, he knows his stuff as well. He's very technically minded and he knows all about photography, you know, from a technical standpoint. The, the only thing I'd say is you tend not to see any of his images on the channel. He, he mainly talks about it. I think he's got a Flickr page, but he, other than that, he doesn't really show many of his images. So No, but Ken's channel's uh, really good. It's, it's well worth watching. Covers a broad spectrum of different stuff. Yeah, and uh, Ken's channel is actually there's one of my all-time favourite YouTube uh, videos, which he actually did, where he actually uh, rips into uh, Jared Pollan while he does it, kind of. He does it and yeah, he kind of indirectly rips into Jared Pollan for who basically slagged off fish eye lenses and said they were no good. And Ken's response was very damning, to say the least. And he kind of tore right into the video, and it was it was dead funny. And he's you know he's in his southern kind of drawl accent, he actually delivers one of, one of the funniest lines I've heard uh, anyone say, which was I think he said, "Photography is an art form." Kiss my ass like that. <laughs> Very funny. And he sees other ones like, "What are you? Somebody pissing your Cheerios or you smoking crack?" And all this kind of thing. You know. But it's, yeah, his channel's very funny, yeah, at times. But anyway, that's it, uh, the first one. Yeah, the second channel I watch uh, that um, is on the list is the, the Camera Store, which, you know, they actually do more general reviews of photography gear. So obviously the guys that are uh, star, the, star of the show are two Canadian guys, um, it's like Chris Nichols and Jordan, can't remember John saying them. Yeah, they do very well uh, putting across uh, how they review stuff and you know and they're very good they, they get the test shots and examples and things and you know chris deals with all this, uh, the photography still side whereas uh, john deals with all the video stuff and uh, they, they get on well together and you know? i think it's a good it's a good uh, mix of a uh, blend of personality and usually at the end of the year they do a kind of year end review of all the gear that they've um, dealt with throughout the year and pick their best and worst and they usually have drinking games while they, while they do it, you know. So they get progressively more wasted as the, as the video goes on. Oh well. Anyway, so that's uh, the same one. So the third one that I watch is uh, Brendan Vanson. And he is, uh, of course, he is a photographer. And he's a travelling photographer, so he does a lot of photography uh, all over the world. And you'll see him. He's a very kind of bright, enthusiastic guy. And he's, you know, he's always wearing the baseball cap back to front. And... You know, well, quite a lot of these YouTubers seem to do that anyway, and and, then, and and he's very enthusiastic, and he's very, he's always going around, and he's taking pictures of everyone. Oh yeah, and he's he's constantly vlogging with the, uh, <laughs> he's constantly vlogging with yeah, with his camera. You know, I think it's a Sony A6300 or something he's got. Yeah, so yeah, but he's very enthusiastic, and he's he's got a good personality, and he comes across again really really well in his videos, and and he uses a lot of these kind of chill hop tracks, which aren't always to my liking, but uh, but I do like some of them. You know, it's He's, 
I think the thing you can say about his channel is definitely upbeat, and that's certainly something that's going in its favour. Because you know some channels might take themselves a bit too seriously, but uh, no, his is quite relaxed. It's chilled out, and it's got a good vibe. So, yep, Brendan Man's on. He's good, and he's well worth watching. So. So the next one on the list is Andrew Marr, and well he is uh, an Australian landscape photographer and well when you see his stuff you know automatically that he's excellent, he's, he's a really 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 good uh, photographer and the stuff he takes is just incredible, you know I think he shoots Nikon full frame, I think he shot with Fuji cameras as well but yeah, but the what I was impressed with, uh, with uh, about uh, Andrew was he actually did a couple of videos where actually took long exposures, he shot a long exposure photography using just an iPhone and I thought I thought it was amazing how he actually did that and he showed you the tutorial on how you do it. I think there's specific apps that you can get for the for the one of the high-end iPhones that you can actually do long exposure work with but it's the fact that he even did it and managed to get really good results with it as well kind of really impressed me. So I've also left him one or two comments and I think he actually looked at my Glen Co video and he left me, very kindly left me a comment saying you know he really enjoyed the video so uh, thanks for that Andrew you know so he will forever be in my good books for that one or alone so yeah uh, his channel is definitely well worth watching so his, his presentation is also very very down to earth and as well so you know uh, he's very relatable very likeable guy you know he comes across a very relatable likeable guy so yeah yeah, his, his channel's definitely worth uh, a look out for. As for the next one, the next one is uh, David Forp. Now I think David is now retired because I think he was uh, formerly a press photographer uh, in London and uh, yeah, he did a lot of uh, press photography stuff and uh, back in the day, back in the 60s or 70s maybe, uh, but he's now retired but he now exclusively shoots just uh, Micro Four Thirds cameras and uh, that's, you know, the system I use for my photography so uh, he mainly reviews uh, Micro Four Thirds uh, camera lenses and cameras as well and sometimes occasionally accessories but it's mainly just uh, cameras and lenses on the Micro Four Thirds system that he, that he reviews Yeah and he reviews it in quite a nice light hearted way and he's got a kind of very dry wit you know and his, yeah, his videos are actually really good to watch so yeah I do enjoy them Yeah, and also you know David's also really good at getting back to people you ask him a question or you say you enjoyed his video he's very responsive with you know with his responses so yeah uh, that's another really good thing about him you know it's the, it takes time to reply to any to any comments so yeah for that alone and for also because of his, his general content and also his pictures as well he takes some really good pictures with uh, when he tests the, the camera gear out uh, yeah um, he's definitely very very good to watch so yeah I have to say, I'm also quite envious of all the gear he seems to have. He seems to afford all these really expensive cameras and it's like, it just makes me so jealous. I wish I had his money. <laughs> anyway. 